Hi right, YouTube, it was a beautiful Sunday day, this past Sunday. Uh, took my bike out, had a good time, the weather was right for it, it's early spring. Uh, I enjoyed doing it. Came home, was hungry like I always am. Kids hungry like they always are. Figured we'd do something for dinner, a little bit of Sunday dinner. Thought it would be nice to share with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Take a look. Alright, so this is going to be dinner. Look at these guys. Uh, see they're loud. Uh, they ain't moving too much. They've been on ice for a while. I got them a few hours ago. They all here. You see. Uh, should be one more in there somewhere. Oh, there he goes. So you see him down there. He's alive too. They're all alive. For now, we're going to put them in the pot in a minute. Be right back. Alright, so we're going to go with some filet mignon today. Add a little plate with a little bit of oil in it. And uh, what I'm going to do with these. One, two, three. Sorry, I'm, I'm sure I'm in the camera. I got four of them. I'm going to hit these with a... I got a video that you're about to see. As I cook this, I haven't quite got it on YouTube yet. But it's going to be coming real soon. Where I do a Marcella chicken. And I'm going to cook these steaks very similar to the way I cooked that chicken in that video. And that's why I mentioned it. So I do some ground pepper. This is sea salt and garlic. And then I'm going to go with a little bit of kosher salt on each side. Alright. I'm going to flip these over. In the olive oil. Now you got your olive oil upside. Same thing. Pepper. Sea salt and garlic. Kosher salt. Alright. These are not quite room temperature. I've had them out of the refrigerator for a little while. I was waiting for them to come to room temperature. We're going to leave them sitting a little bit while longer. Let them get all the way up to room temperature. We'll be back. We'll be, back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks. Alright. So it's game time. See, like, oh, see, he's breaking up. Here you go. I'll wake up a little bit more when I put him in that pot. These guys in there. We got one. Somehow this guy managed to get his way out of the uh, rubber bands from both claws. Look at him, he's angry. Huh? Uh, it happens. Uh, this guy is asleep. It's time to wake up. Let's get him in there. And then this final guy. Let's get him in there too. Alright. Let's get a lid on those. We'll get those steamed up. The next thing we're gonna do in a second is get started on those fillets. We'll be right back. Okay, let's get these steaks on here. I've had this grill heating up for a while. Got a little bit extra oil. This is a really hot griddle. I've been heating this up for probably 20 minutes or so. I want to give these a hot sear on each side for probably about a minute. They're thick, as you can see. Give them a good minute. I'm going to turn them just to get some cross hatching on them. I just like the way cross hatching looks. It's a nice spring day, it's getting a little cool now, but you can hear the motorcycles are still out. I had my out earlier.
really juicy. Look at that. If you look at that, uh, and I know we're out here in the dark, but hopefully with that light you can see it. But you look at that uh, oil on top of that, really flavorful looking. Those seasonings, I think it's going to be nice. Now let's go ahead and turn these things. All right. And look at that really perfect sear that you got on that side. That's going to, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at, oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. That's a really nice seal you got on, on that side. We're gonna get the same kind of seal on this side. Um, locking in those flavors, you got the cross hatching, which again, you know, it's just a aesthetic thing, but obviously the better food looks a lot of times the better it tastes. We're gonna finish this side. I'm gonna get them on a cookie sheet or a baking sheet. I'm gonna get them in the oven at about 350. They'll have to stay in there for about 10 or 15 minutes given the size of these. Alright? We'll be right back, YouTube. Peace. I got couple trays of mixed vegetable medley kind of uh, that I got from the supermarket. Going with the vegetables. Got the pan preheated. Get the stir fry on it. Stir fry oil on there. Uh, I lost two pieces so far. Hopefully we can keep that to a minimum. Turn the heat up even more. There you go, that looks real good. Coming right along. flavor. Yo, that smells good. That smells good. So we're coming out the oven with the fillets. You see they look just about perfect. Wait till we cut them to them. I'm sure you'll see they work. All right, YouTube, so here we go. Uh, final plate, got a nice lobster on there. Really juicy and tender, we're ready to do that. Got some butter on the side for it, didn't show it in this video. Got a fillet on there, that fillet is nice. Uh, got some rice. We got those sauteed or those stir fried vegetables. Uh, gonna be really nice. Got a little bit of au jus on the side, right here. Um, so, great to enjoy dinner. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Peace. Okay, so it occurred to me, maybe I should give you a look at the filet after it's been cut. So look at that. That's the ultimate. Filet mignon. Incredible piece of meat. The way it's cut. I mean, I'm sorry, the way it's cooked. That's just how you want it. Alright. Alright, so thanks for watching YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you every time. I appreciate you coming to my channel, checking out my videos. Please like, subscribe, uh, favorite, share, do all the good stuff for me. It definitely helps out. Um, I got some other stuff coming soon. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Peace.